and it's all Swamp Family members' favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today uh, we're throwing it way back. I feel like we've been doing a lot of beauty testing products lately. So today we're just gonna have a little fun and we're gonna test out airbrush magic pins. I don't think we've ever tested anything like this on my channel before. I know that last year we tried out, I think they were called magic sketch markers, uh, but these are the airbrush magic pins. I think that these are gonna be like blow pins in the 90s if you were a 90s kid like me. Uh, and basically they're just like markers that are like airbrush pins. Does that make any sense? You blow into them. You know what, why don't I just stop talking and start opening and why did they tape the box shut? Uh, all right, magic blow pins. Yeah, out of the box. All right, everything we need, like this scrap of paper. Uh, we've got stencils in here, like stencils of fishes. Can you guys see that that's a fish yet? Ooh, it's like a magic eye. Can you see the fish? Can you see the fish? Can you see? I miss magic eye books. Do you guys remember those? Where you would like, it was like a 3D magic. That's probably why my eyes are so jacked today. Uh, but you would like stick the book right up to your nose and you would slowly back them away and you would see like a picture would start to form in a three dimensional kind of fashion. I hope you guys can't hear my fan. For some reason, it is hotter than Hades up here right now and I am in desperate need of a sippy sippy and I don't have anything. Probably because it's midnight and Starbucks is no longer open at this hour comes with lots of stencils such as fishes, butterflies, dragon, these are not dragons, dinosaurs and volcanoes, which is kind of, I'm about to say something really stupid, but didn't like volcanoes partially kill dinosaurs? That's kind of dark. It's like dinosaurs looking at their own demise, cheerful for children, say that five times fast, cats and dogs and happy birthdays and rocket ships and robots, chameleons, ooh, palm trees. My personal favorite, save that guy for later, unicorns, cars on fire? Cars on fire, can you guys see this? Look, I'm gonna punch it out because this is so creepy to me. So creepy, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure you guys can see this. Why are stencils so hard? <sighs> Why is it midnight? Let's just keep asking. Why, why can't we all hold hands and sing peaceful melodies with one another under the sun's rays of sunny sunshine? I'm still trying to recuperate after Halloween and you guys, there is like probably a 25% chance that I somehow accidentally re-broke my right hand. It's just been killing me like every day since Halloween. If you guys don't know, I was in a really bad car accident a couple years ago, which is a decent chunk of the whole reason why you're watching me on YouTube today, right now. And my right hand got broken and I don't know, sometimes it periodically hurts, but it's just been like agonizing all week. This is a sad, sad, what direction is this video going right now? Car on fire. What are we teaching children these days? Uh, and last but not least, the alpha boot. You probably can't tell what any of these stencils are. Uh, so you also get a marker tray and two packs of markers, which I should hold in frame so that you can actually see what we're looking at. I was about to say something stupid like, what kind of marker is a white marker? But then I realized this is the magic color changing marker. Looking good, Pilgrim. Uh, there you go. There's all your markers and your magic marker. I almost called them blow pens. They're not blow pens. Uh, airbrush magic. Yes. I feel like I should give you guys like a different camera angle. Would that be more better? Uh, so we can actually like do some stencils. There's no instructions, is there? Probably on that box that I threw to Chicago. Do you live in Chicago? If so, shout out to you guys. I always say Chicago. It's like my favorite, like, oh yeah, they're coming from Chicago. Why? I've never been to Chicago. I don't know, just extra love to Chicago today. Let's read, I don't see any, oh, there it is. Okay, um, here we go, here we go. Uh, all right, step one, choose your airbrush magic pin. I'm gonna choose you, Pikachu. Uh, this is like,
like purple magenta I don't know so this is the tube this is the pin this is the cap and this is the cap tip there's actually like a little diagram in here that just told me that I can read uh, so gently pull and separate the tube from the cap exposing the end of the airbrush magic pin uh, okay pull the airbrush magic pin from the cap and flip it around uh, and insert it insert it into the tube oh okay okay I see put the cube in my chest attach the cap back to the tube securely like so oh very secure yes okay so they're saying it must be pushed all the way back for it to work and I don't think mine was pushed all the way back because it was moving around but it doesn't seem to go any snugger than that what a weird little device we're dealing with aim the tube at the paper place your mouth on the cap and blow let's see if I can get you guys a little bit of a better camera angle alrighty do I even have a tripod questions we ask ourselves at midnight. Okay, I'm gonna try and figure this out. It's gonna be very difficult for me, I'm sure, just like everything. <gasps> oh, channel tracking focus. What have I turned on? Oh, maybe that, is that gonna improve the filming? Did I just accidentally push a button that makes this whole process a little bit better? Hopefully, okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, you guys, professional setup, I know. Uh, and now you guys can see all the junk on my desk. It's Awesome! Uh, so we are going to attempt to use these magical airbrush pens to indeed uh, make this burning car, because, you know, I don't know, it's weird to me, it's disturbing. Really, really bad lighting. My whole face is a shadow, that is awesome. Alright, I'm just gonna cut my face out. What on earth? Am I gonna die? I feel like, okay, the marker works. It must not be connected properly. This is not working. I feel like my brain's gonna explode. Okay, you guys, I needed a camera that would actually show my face. I keep trying, am I like super red in the face? I feel like I'm gonna pop a blood vessel like trying to get these freaking pens to work. And I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, probably definitely not on the iPhone camera, front camera, as we discussed the other day. It's pretty bleak. Uh, but see, like I'm pushing so hard to try and get the pins to click in place that it's actually like bending the plastic a little bit on the end, what's up with that. But I still cannot securely get it to like stay in place because it does say that the pens will not work properly unless they're like locked in place and they're just not pushing all the way in. You can tell they're not pushing all the way in because once I put this thing in there, they are like falling down, if that makes any sense. How are these supposed to work? Because there's not even like any holes in the top of the pen for your air to pat your air, your breath to pass through. I mean, that's what it looks like though, you guys. That's what it looks like. And it's upside down. No, that was right side. <laughs> that was right side up. But you see, I mean, it looks like I have it assembled correctly and that is the end you're supposed to blow on. So, I don't really understand what I can be doing wrong. Insert into the tube. Maybe that was it. Ah! We got it to work! We got it to work! Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this camera might be better. Is I don't know. Is this clear? Is this not clear? Is this clear? Can you guys see what's happening? I don't know, man. But this is what we're gonna do. Because I'm just so excited. Woo! It's still a lot of breathing going on. <sighs> How bad are my lungs, honestly? Dude, this is for babies with really fresh, fresh lungs. Okay, so you're supposed to push it into place 
at this tip. They kind of make it confusing, I guess, in the instructions, and they make it sound like you're supposed to push it up here. I don't know. Or you just can't read English. That is also a great, great possibility. Let's light this guy on, guy on fire. Whatever. Uh, let's light this car on fire. Flames look better than the car, in my opinion, right? But there you go, car on flames. Maybe it's supposed to be dry, driving so fast that there's flames coming out of it. Flames on the side of my face. I do feel like it's going to give me a headache slash make me a little bit dizzy. I do have really bad lungs though, so I don't know. Uh, maybe it's not for people who've had pneumonia like 37 times in their life. Uh, I mean, they are fun. I feel like if you make it look like this, you know, where it's kind of just like a cool splatter effect that you're not wasting that much ink. But I feel like if you try and make it look really solid, like I did down here, that you have to use a ton of ink, which is kind of crazy. Uh, so now we're going to do the magic color changing. So I think the car is going to turn pink and the flames are going to turn yellow. So let's give it a go. Oh, that's neat. So maybe you guys can see that is a really cool thing when you add the color change because it is just like a splash of color, you know? I'm getting more into these as time goes along. right over the flame. I think it's gonna turn red. So let's use the color changing thingy again. Looks like the Suicide Squad logo a little bit, right? I mean, just the splatteriness, you know, just, just the splat, splatteriness. What, splatteriness is not a word. Okay. Okay, you guys. So I just sprayed all of the colors on a test sheet. And I'm going to be honest, final thoughts. If you have people in your life that love art, if you love art kind of stuff, you're probably going to really enjoy these. I got them at Walmart, I think for around 10 to $12. Uh, and they are a lot of fun. And as soon as you figure out the pen thing, it is I mean, it's not that hard to figure out. I just make everything 10 times harder than is necessary. But as soon as you figure out the direction and how the pen cap stuff is supposed to assemble, which if you're watching this video, you already know, they are a lot of fun. The only thing that I wish that there was was a little bit more color variety because you have a yellow one which changes to red and a red one which changes to yellow. You have two purple ones and two blue ones. To me, that is just a little bit repetitive. Like, there are a lot more colors in the world than that like where is orange we don't have orange why and this is supposed to be black but it looks like a dark blue navy that's this one which changes to pink but it's not like a true black so that's my only complaint is that they should come out with more colors, even if it's like an expansion pack or something. Also, I will just warn you guys, it is a little bit messy if you plan on giving these to kids. All it says is that it's not suitable for children under eight years, but it is non-toxic. And it says that it may stain skin. I totally bet that it will.
not that big of a deal to me uh but if you're not careful it can get on desks or tables furniture carpet you know wherever you might be doing this if the ink will stain your skin i bet it might stain your furniture too so if you're gonna be giving it to little kids or something you know maybe be mindful of that that you would want to spread out a lot of newspaper or maybe do this outside on the patio or something i don't know but it is relatively inexpensive and it is quite a bit of fun overall two thumbs up from me thank you guys so so much for being here today for hanging out and for watching don't forget if you guys have seen a device or a weird beauty thing or anything on the internet that you would love for me to test out here on does this thing really work leave it as a comment down below I will look for it I will find it I will bring it here and we will test it out together if you're not already and you'd like to be hit that button down below subscribe become a member of the swamp family and give an alligator swings also ew. also if you want you can like me on facebook facebook.com slash graveyard girl or you can follow me on twitter tumblr or instagram at graveyard girls same way it's spelled here i love you guys so so much and i will see y'all tomorrow bye